Hey there, Oscar fans, and welcome here to the WB Mason Coach Report, another edition with head coach Richard Duddle of the men's soccer squad coming back from an unfortunate 3-1 to one loss down at UNCW, which broke the perfect streak in CAA play. Coaches, overall, you take away a 3-1 to one loss on the road, your first loss of CAA. Granted, how the season's going so far, how do you take that loss? Yeah, difficult, really, especially in the fact that we didn't give a good account of ourselves with, with energy and pizzazz and determination and great. I think we let ourselves down, you know, and uh, as a coaching staff and as a group of players, I think we've got to look at what went wrong and, and fix it because it wasn't good. From my point of view, the uh, outcome could have been a, a lot better with a little bit of energy and a little bit more of a, um, pizzazz and uh, style and movement of the ball. Well, it's a 3-1 loss, so three goals from the opposing team, more than you've seen in quite some time with the keeper situation you have between Alex Ashton and Leo Arkenhelski. You went with Ashton yet again, and for the last couple of games, it has been Alex Ashton as the starter. After a game like that, do you have any pause? Do you have any sort of decision going forward that maybe there are things that Leo can bring to the table that Alex just doesn't have? Yeah, I believe that, you know, it's not one person why we lost or one person why we could have won, but the fact was the team effort and Alex could have had a better day no doubt. Again, we'll look at the situation. Leo's probably a little bit quick with his reflexes, with Alex man, uh, game management in terms of uh, uh, the overall game. So we'll look at it. And uh, again, Alex has been doing great, and Leo's been doing great. So we two, two wonderful choices today. In the game prior to that UNCW game, late, late in your 4-1 to win over Drexel, Sean Niels went down with what could have been a pretty severe injury. It looked like he was in quite a lot of pain. Did that have any factor into his play at UNCW since that back line had been so solid? Yeah, they've been solid as a run. And again, we look at the team dynamics. They are uh, really good as a back four doing well, but it's also a team dynamic. And in Sean's case, I don't think he was 100%, you know, with a bit of an ankle issue. We were in a knock game before. And he also got a knock this game as well, and uh, they on not going to uh, you know, get out the corner. So from our point of view, we wasn't a Offensive end, the only goal comes from your young superstar, Luke Brown. You had been telling me for the first couple of weeks of the season, even prior to the season, that he has just so many qualities that can make him a superstar. It's really coming together into quite a, quite a great season for him up until this point. What do you think he's done in just his first year to develop from what you thought he could be to what he really is now? Well, I think just get used to the environment, you know, a little bit different from what he was used to in Europe and uh, understanding the athleticism and the way we play is a little bit different to what he's used to. Again, he's a great goal scorer, but you've got to get in, in the spots on the field to score these goals. I mean, you know, with the athleticism of the opposition, it was proven difficult. But he's learning every game, and as you see, he's getting better every game. And, uh, between him and Dan Massey, I think we've got two wonderful options there. Well, Dan Massey came off the bench again for you in this last match against UNCW. Another young guy that came off the bench that caught my eye, Hawken Wilk Heltney, who helped out on the back line. How important is it before you get to CAAs to really cycle through some of these young guys that can contribute in bigger ways? Yeah, we've been saying all season the success of the team is due to the practice we're, we're, we're experiencing, and we've got 24 great guys who are having wonderful practices, and they're all, they all can play. And, and it's good that we got to uh, use other people and they quitted themselves quite well. And again, it's hard coming in when you haven't played. And uh, I was pleased with the performances of the uh, players off the bench, such as Hakan and uh, Nick Biglin. So uh, it, it was nice to see and I'm good for them that they got some playing time. You come down the stretch. The overall records between yourself and a couple other teams are tight, but you have the edge in CAA play. But as time winds down and you do have an out of conference game coming up against Binghamton as well. What's the mindset moving forward? Is every game must win? Well, the mindset is on Maryland, who are the number one team in the country on Friday, and that's all we're looking at now. We're trying to correct a few things. We're watching video now for, uh, from the previous game. We're trying to correct them. And um, we're looking at Maryland and Maryland only, and that's our focus, and that's going to be an incredibly tough team. Against. We're proud that we're playing against the number one team in the country, and we see it as opportunity. Prior to the season, obviously you didn't know that they would be number one at this time, but you've played quite a handful of ranked teams in your time up until this point. How much do you think those specific games are going to lend to your, your effort against Maryland? Uh, every one a battle against quality opposition and quality players is just an experience and you, you, you grow from these experiences playing these good teams and it, it's helped us in conference play and it will help, uh, help us towards the end of the season against these quality opponents and no easy games. Man. 
you talk about this Maryland team, and obviously number one in the country, it, it touts uh, a whole lot to have behind the Terrapins. It might even strike a little bit of, of concern into your players that, that it's, it's a team that is this good. What's the main message to your players to say, don't be scared of this kind of team and go after them? You know, again, they're absolute quality, but these are the times of teams we want to play on. So I've got to view it as an opportunity to play against the best. And a stage, to, you know, a national stage, everybody will be looking at the results. So it's time to maybe we look at make some waves and show that Hampshire soccer is quality. We can compete at this level. Well, yeah, absolutely. Uh, absolutely our quality at this time of season standing. First in the CAA, I'm Matt Durant. He's Richard Dunn. We'll be here back next week on the WB Mason Coaches Report.